what does co-teaching mean to you? When working with a colleague, what is a strategy you employ to collaborate, communicate, or co-educate? We asked. You responded. Welcome, Welcome to, to Kotober. Co-teaching means to me, you know, I think about the old adage, it takes a village and, um, you know, it's working with one another to, you know, find a common goal. And, you know, when I think about like health or PE, um, there are many, many conversations that take place in a day to where you know, we're not exactly teaching the same things or same styles, but we work together to kind of achieve, you know, similar goals. To me, co-teaching is an arranged marriage. It's you and your buddy and you're there to go and help your adopted 50 children together. All right, what is co-teaching to me? Um, I believe co-teaching is working with other colleagues, parents, and students um, to help collaborate. And the most important thing is listening, having some kind of structure um, to make yourself a, a better teacher, to explain uh, what really is important, and to get everyone involved. Co-teaching, what does it mean to me? It means having another person in the classroom. There to help me, there to help the other students. When I work with my co-teacher, one thing we like to do is meet regularly and I share my calendar with her so that we're always up to date with where we're going and where we're be we've been and we make updates for the upcoming days. So when I collaborate with teachers to help my students in supported study hall and strategic learning, I use Infinite Campus a lot. Um, the little notes that teachers uh, make in the comments or marking as missing really helps me to work with my students on keeping up on their grades and classwork. And then from there, there's lots of teachers that I bug on a regular basis through email or in person so that together we can work on putting together work packets for students or working on test corrections and all kinds of things so that together we can help students keep up with their work in classes. So the uh, most important part of my job that I feel that I have when I work with our uh, PE teachers, especially for our students uh, with IEPs, is helping make the PE curriculum a lot more accessible to them. Uh, so that means working with those teachers to find out what is the best way for our students to uh, assess and show what they're learning in that uh, classroom environment. So to me, co-teaching is more like collaborating when I thought about Co-tober. I was thinking collaborating in October. Um, I do collaborate quite a bit with Marsha Sporrell and even with Chris Snyder over at Lakes. We're not locked up, but when we find a new activity or a new strategy, um, we definitely vet it together. We make sure that we're using curated resources um, and that we share, and then we share the results that we get from our students as well. We used to call it plussing. So years ago, I'd give her an idea and she'd plus it, she'd make it better, and then she'd give it back to me and we'd say, oh, wait, 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 and we'd plus a little bit further. To me, that's collaboration and clear communication, all for the right reasons, to make it better for the students to be engaged in learning. One way that I like to collaborate is by observing others and letting others observe me. Like last year, I was working on a professional goal. That's something I wanted to improve in my teaching. And I would go into my colleagues' classes and watch them and have them come into mine and watch me and kind of talk about some cool things we saw and things to work on. For us, the spirit of Kotober means we get to celebrate our collective strengths. It allows us to recognize the expertise each of us possess. As the month progresses, seek out your co-educators and find ways to collaborate. In two weeks, on Wednesday, October 23rd, we are hosting this month's Coaches Culinary Challenge. For this month's challenge, team up with someone and collaborate on a dish. Bonus points if you can figure out a way to make your dish a paired entree or appetizer. For example, you might pair chips with salsa, or hot dogs with buns, or macaroni with cheese. A sign-up sheet will be sent out next week if you're interested in bringing a dish to pass. We look forward to seeing you in the Staff Center for lunch and conversation with your peers.